Hello and welcome, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up, the exciting three-year-old Stranger Danger stars at Jamaica's Caymanus Park. There's an upset result in the Guyana Cup at the Rising Sun Turf Club. Stakes wins for Caribbean jockeys up north, Pravin Badri and Sean Bridgemahan. And the Yorkshire Festival in England kicks off with a thriller in the feature. First, the Jamaica's Caymanus Park. Only six starters in the three-year-old and up open allowance first race on Saturday's card. All eyes on the big U.S. import, Stranger Danger on a six-race winning streak. Regular jockey Omar Walker up for trainer Wayne Costa. As the betting suggested, the race pretty much a foregone conclusion. Only Saratoga side at 7-1 to one, getting any support at the betting window worth mentioning. Stranger Danger, a huge 1-9 to nine favorite. Brand Rickman has the race call. They're off. Yaya's dream comes out at the back. There goes Sergeant Reckless rushing up now to challenge and gets that lead. Uncle Frank racing out wide of Saratoga site. Yaya's dream nearer the rail. Saratoga site is racing in behind them, possibly five and a half lengths off that lead and hovercraft cruising at the back. They leave the six for long and make their way down the far side with Sergeant Reckless continuing to lead, bouncing easy by three lengths. Sar Stranger Danger has now moved down into second. There goes Uncle Frank with Yaya's dream. Saratoga site is there and Hovercraft remains at the back. The field run now toward the final half of a mile. Sergeant Reckless continues to lead. Stranger Danger now getting closer on the outside. Uncle Frank continues to stick with them. Two and a half lengths back to Hovercraft. Saratoga site racing on the rail, sharing last with Yaya's dream. And now Stranger Danger, the big horse, has picked up the lead inside the last three furlongs and begins to power right away from stablemate Sergeant Reckless. Uncle Frank is being driven six lengths in behind that lead. Yaya's dream is in between horses. Hovercraft outride and a Saratoga site getting the run on the rail but it is all stranger danger in complete control walker changes his hold hands alone being used as they approach the final furlong and beginning to go further and further away a crack of the right hand stick stranger danger out in front showing his class uncle frank chasing best of the rest but it's all stranger danger one to watch stranger danger remains undefeated stranger danger cruising in wins by 12 legs walker mostly hand rides stranger danger down the home stretch and with an accumulated victory margin of 48 lengths in his last six wins. Six-time champion rider Walker is convinced the three-year-old gelding is destined for big things. Yeah, definitely, you know, I just get a small break and relax him, teach him to relax a bit and the last half mile I ask him to go and he responded very well. He's improving, you know, he's a different task, he's maturing, so I can look for him to do great things. Stranger Danger, awesome. In an 11-length victory here, the five-horse Uncle Frank was second past the post but disqualified and placed fourth. Hovercraft the six to one to one shot getting second the seven and a half furlong trip covered by stranger danger in a fast one minute 30.60 seconds just 1.20 seconds outside the track record by sky train from 1983 the performance leaving trainer wayne da costa very very impressed yes and especially when he's coming off a three-month rest he'll be working brilliantly coming to the race so we expected a good run but 130 and 350 is definitely outstanding da costa says it's not yet decided whether stranger danger will race in the month and gold cup let's move to guyanese racing now featuring the rich guyana cup at the rising sun turf club in west coast Burbis. the six horse fields on a muddy track included two-time defending champion veras finally and another u.s import don't overlook who has been undefeated since arriving in guyana but they both seemingly did not enjoy the conditions and struggled throughout in the com box, Nick Chady with a call from mid-race. Storm Bird takes them to the back stretch run, opens up by three links here. Storm Bird in front now, the lead down to two. Simple side, well rated and running along in second. The gap of three links back to Lucky Star, gap of two. To Don't Overlook, gap of four. To Vera's finally in settling star. Storm Bird still there. Storm Bird maintaining a two-length lead here, but here comes Simple side toward the outside. Lucky Star making a run. It's a closer third now. Don't overlook. It's about eight lengths from the front being passed by Settling Star. As they round the turn, Storm Bird lets out a notch again. Storm Bird opens up by two lengths here to Lucky Star who's coming again toward the outside. Then comes Simple Side who's faltering and Settling Star. The race is on. Lucky Star and 
Stormbird head and head for the lead. Final furlong to go. It is Lucky Star striking the front. How oh, it's Lucky Star in front here. Lucky Star is taking the lead. And it's Lucky Star who's going to go on and take the Guyana Cup. Lucky Star wins. An unexpected result here with Lucky Star getting a three length win at three to one odds. With the 18 year old rider Ronaldo Apadu aboard for trainer Glendon Suklau. Owner Shifun Racing Stables getting their first ever Guyana Cup win. 7 to 2 shot Stormbird second and settling star 10 to 1 third. A slow 153. Lucky Star's winning time going a mile on the heavy track. Now to the Thistledown racetrack in Ohio, USA for the first added money win of two for Caribbean jockeys, Sean Bridge Mahan and Pravin Vadri. The Lady Jacqueline Stakes was Saturday's main event at Thistledown Racetrack, carrying a massive purse of US $200,000. Jamaica-born jockey Sean Bridge Mahan, after stalking the leaders for most of the ninth furlong trip, had surged to the front early in the home stretch. But in the middle, he was threatened by the 4 to 5 favorite escape clause on the inside and Gotham Gala on the outside. Bridge Mahan, though, the 1998 Eclipse Award winner as the USA's most outstanding apprentice rider, keeps the four-year-old filly going for the victory in the end by just a nose. My Lady Curlin, as a 75 bet, fends off Gotham Gala's late burst for the four-year-old filly's fifth consecutive victory for trainer Brad Cox and stopping the clock at 151.40 for the ninth furlong trip to the Centre Mile Racetrack now in Edmonton, Canada, where the Century Casino Oaks was Saturday's headliner, and Pravin Badri, the 2015 Trinidad and Tobago champion jockey, accelerated down the home stretch with a 3-1 bet, I'm even, I'm leaving, for a clear two-length victory, chased by Barbadian jockey Demario Bino aboard the 7-1 shot, Woof it up. For a fifth win in 10 career starts, I'm even, I'm leaving, fairly comfortable in victory, clocking 149.93 on a fast centre mile track for trainer Greg Tracy. The 29 year old battery is still aboard for his post race interview. Well, I was watching, I know the one horse will have go to the lead, but I was looking at the eight horse, Summerland, and as soon as I got a chance to switch out to focus on Summerland, I knew it was good there. To England now to close this week's edition. The famous Yorkshire Festival meet in England being shown live on Sportsmax could not have had a more riveting start on Wednesday. Approaching the last two furlongs in the Jodmont International Stakes. The field tightly bunched with Barbadian trainer Sir Michael Stout in with a great chance here to win with his Crystal Ocean under jockey James Doyle in the yellow cap edging ahead but with a cluster of horses within striking distance. Crystal Ocean is the meat in the O'Brien sandwich at the moment on the inside weakening Circus Maximus, Japan on the outside, Crystal Ocean digging deep as he always does, King of Comedy, Regal Reality trying to mount a challenge as well, Crystal Ocean just wilting out in front as Japan comes back to him, Japan and Crystal Ocean, Crystal Ocean responds on the inside, Japan on the outside, it's a tight one, Japan may have just got there from Crystal Ocean. Trainer Aidan O'Brien's three-year-old coach Japan at 5-1 to one odds with Ryan Moore aboard. Scores narrowly by a head over Stout's Crystal Ocean, the 11-10 to 10 favorite. Japan clock 207.77 for the 10 furlong trip and is now expected to target October's pre de de Triomphe in Paris. We've been at the track, covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.